Our channel television has been monitoring the situation at the nation's capital. To bring us up to speed with what's happening at the PDP presidential primary, let's go live to the MKO Abiola International Stadium where our political correspondent, Sheung Okimbaloye, is standing by. Thank you so much, Melinda, and welcome to the Velodrome, the venue of the PDP presidential primary here at the MQ Abiola National Stadium in Abuja. If you can see what is happening, the accreditation and voting is ongoing. It's about being concluded because some of the last few states have now been accredited and they are undertaking the voting process. What we will see to happen afterwards is the sorting counting an eventual announcement of the winner that the pdp will be able to know who their presidential candidate will be a few events have happened here today we've seen a major frontline contender who had dropped out from the race or withdrawn uh, his ambition from the race of the governor of sokoto state who has withdrawn his uh, ambition and is uh, putting his weight behind the former vice president atiku abubaka that decision and announcement threw this arena into ecstasy and a lot of the supporters of Tambuwal and Atiko, some of those who received it were shocked, were reacting to this kind of situation. It's going to be an intense race tonight of what will become one of the most intense and one of the fiercest race in the history of Nigeria's main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party. One thing that is fundamental tonight is the fact that the PDP, we know for sure, we will fly its flag for the presidential election in 2023. We're just about a few minutes away to concluding the exercise of voting. Afterward, the officials will put it to an end. Sorting will begin. Counting will also take place. Then eventual announcement will happen. And of course, we'll be able to hear um, from the eventual winner of the race. So far, it's been peaceful. The organization has seen some kind of um, uh, uh, agreement between uh, the delegates and some of the supporters and members of the party. I mean, compared to what we've seen four years ago, it's been a reduce in the number, a reduction in the number of delegates that we have seen. Uh, thousands of them were in Port Harcourt, but for here, it's just been about 767 of the delegates. So far, that how it has gone down here at the Velodrome of the MQ Abiola National Stadium in Abuja, Melinda. Our political correspondent, Shing Okimbali, bringing us up to speed with what's happening at the MKO Abiola International Stadium. A big day for the PDP indeed. And stay with Channel Television for all the details. <laughs>